when I said what I said about the America's Got Talent girl, I was trying to make a point. And my point is, everyone is gonna pick that girl. Cause they're, gonna, they're gonna be like, she did a great cover, she's a 10 year old, so she's got the age, she's got this. It's kinda like, he, he's, a, he's a 12 year old that graduated from Harvard. <gasps> you might be an idiot. I mean, seriously. Um, okay, so I, I, my understanding is that someone from the Philippines thinks that he was introduced to, introduced to me to get tricked into shorting the American stock market excessively because we knew that I was about to threaten to destroy the stock market for a period, period of years and he thought he had insider information because he knew me. <clears throat> but he always thought I was dumb before because he was like, he's like a Carnegie Mellon mathematician. Um, and I was like a average Joe going to church folk. Well, I'm not, I was very not a church folk. I was a very Obama folk back then. I was a Rachel Maddow folk, which I am not a Rachel Maddow folk nowadays. Um, all right, so I have to talk about Iran. I threatened to kill him. I said, I'll kill all your people. I said that they needed to legalize gay marriage and everyone's going, you're not accepting now. You're, you want everyone to be accepting and um, no, you, you don't have to accept gay people. You should just keep your mouth shut if you have a problem with them. Um, and you should listen to me when I say legalize gay marriage, but um, a lot of people think they're God. I remember, I remember I was on top of Mount Sinai with this Muslim guy and I smoked a cigarette because I, I was smoking cigarettes sometimes back then. I smoked a lot of shisha. And he goes, you do think you're, you're your own God. Because um, I talked to him about my theory of pantheism, which I, I don't believe in pantheism now. I'm a, I'm an atheist. Um, it took me a long time to get there because I was so afraid of God. Um, all right, so I've been pretty mean to people. I, I'm pretty mean to Shan Sean Hannity and um, I'm okay with that, but I, I'm not okay with being mean to this 10 year old girl, but I, I was making a point. And my point is you guys all want leaders who will um, golden buzz that 10 year old girl when you don't know if she's gonna have a, another good song even if she has the opportunity to do covers. And if you actually want America to have talent, if you actually want my, my, my team in the White House to be good, um, then you don't want a leader that's not gonna know, like, that's gonna look at me and think that I like Sean Hannity even though he spied on me for like, how many years did Joe Biden spy on me? Allegedly, probably never but it sure seemed like my psychiatrist one time was trying to figure out if I thought he could be president someday. Like he, like he was like pitching this military psychiatrist I had questions or something, that's what it felt like. All right, so it felt like that. I don't know if it was true, but it sure seemed like that's, that was an illegal type situation to be in. Um, it was you know, around my hunger strike. I don't know, it was probably when I, it was probably when I started talking about um, this technology the technology I talk about, the, like I, I talk about this program where you can hack people's brains and you can plan my life, like the computer can study the entire world's brain conversations in their head, the things that, their, their inner dialogues, and look for people that are especially sick or um, f like, a, like just, just disturbing or look for someone that's especially good or a person that has a tendency to stand up for weak people. Like if someone like is getting beat up, they'll, they'll help, help someone or uh, find someone that has a tendency to not do something, you know, that has a bystander, like, it's just like, well, I'm a bystander, I don't have to get involved. Um, the, the program can, the program can set me up to be part of a group in college of jocks and a guy that, that admires jocks who is a anti-gay religious nut, who's a Mormon and it will make me so mad that I'll hurt my hand that I, I can't box or work out anymore. Like the, the program has like a very specific plan for my life because it needs to and it's, it's hard to explain. I've, I've talked about it before, I'm a boy named Sue. Like I, I'm like the guy that needed, a, needed to get tough and you'd be surprised by the, the, the people that are put in my life to get me to the situation, get, to get me to the point that I'm in now because I have to be tough. Iran, 
I, I don't think, I mean, what are you gonna do? I mean, I can't fight you without congressional approval in, if I, even if I'm elected. So, um, probably I'll just ignore you and let your economy 